Hi! Welcome to my third episode of Let's Play SimCity 4. So, where we left off last time, I had just expanded the city and moved all of the industrial um, out to the far edges of the zone where I've built my city. And uh, now I'm kind of going through and doing a little bit of cleanup and adding um, a few things like, um, for example, there were some places where um, after building out some things, um, some uh, little spots didn't have road access. So I kind of went ahead and put in um, a couple of um, gardens and that kind of thing. And I just placed a hospital. Um, so since I've got an increasing population going on, I needed a little bit more medical care in town. So I'm just kind of going through here real quick and kind of looking at um, various statistics throughout the city, uh, which kind of helps me manage the city and um, at how uh, well used the subway is um, and that kind of thing. And then there's the new um, hospital that I just put in place so that uh, I can keep the citizens healthy. Um, here I'm looking at an aircraft training mission. Um, I was kind of reading through it and then I kind of remember, because I haven't played this game um, in several years, and so um, I recall that I didn't really enjoy those training missions, so I kind of got, uh, I kind of canceled out of that. Um, and here I kind of got um, a little bit of a warning about water, although um, I'm kind of looking at things and I don't know if I actually addressed this issue right away or not. Um, and I don't think I did. Um, but I will address the water issue here um, a little bit later in this episode. I'm still kind of looking through some of the statistics, um, looking at like city ordinances. Um, yeah, I think I just uh, turned on one that kind of, I think it was the gambling one that helps um, generate some revenue because the, the city coffers at the moment are starting to get a little low and trying to generate a little bit more revenue was good. Um, I think I've said in, like, in the first episode that I tend to spend a lot because I try to expand. Uh, I kind of I just expand my cities very, very quickly, probably more quickly than I should. Um, and I won't be doing it in this episode, but probably next episode you'll see me actually start applying some cheats, um, the money cheat primarily. Um, but right now I'm trying to find ways of generating some revenue and um, here we go. Uh, I am now saving my city and going out to the region. One of the ways of generating revenue for a city is to have neighbor deals and um, you can't have neighbor deals if you don't have neighbors. So that's what I'm doing now is I'm kind of building out a couple of neighbor cities. These are not cities that I am actually going to play. Um, directly. They are just going to be an assistance to my city that I am playing. Um, so here I've got to give the new city a name. And uh, yeah, I named it ne a lot. <laughs> and basically the way um, these cities uh, work is that you kind of build them out with everything from residential, um, commercial, and industrial and give them all the infrastructure that they need, but you don't supply them with the things that they actually need. Uh, you don't supply them with water pumps, you don't supply them with power plants, um, etc. And um, then they kind of come to you and say, hey, you know, we have a city and we need stuff. And they buy it off of my city. Um, since I'm planning on having a very, uh, a fairly large city and um, I'm building out things so that I have enough resources so that I can sell them. And by having those um, resellable resources, I can then um, generate revenue for my city. So eventually I should come to a point where I won't need um, the monetary cheats. But initially, since I do try and grow my city very, very quickly, um, I do need um, the money cheats in order to um, kind of sustain um, the kind of growth that I want. Um, until I get the level of neighbor deals and eventually business deals um, and put them, put them all together so that I'm actually generating um, more revenue um, than I'm spending. Um, obviously taxes is a part of it, but taxes is a very fine balance. Um, and if I relied purely on taxes until the revenue streams started coming in, um, it really... Um, 
I, I honestly have never um, found the right balance with that. Um, I find it very challenging because if you raise taxes too high on residents, well, then they they leave. Um, they start abandoning the, abandoning the city, and so if they go away, then they don't pay your taxes, and so that's kind of pointless. And then the same thing happens if you do commercial or, or industrial taxes. If you try to raise those, well, then those... Um, businesses will shut down and um, they stop paying taxes as well. So anyway here you can see that I have just kind of built out a nice little town with a bunch of houses and um, commercial and industrial areas and here I'm putting in all the infrastructure in place and I'm actually hooking it up across um, all its various um, possible neighbors uh, because I just want to have a good solid infrastructure across all of the neighbors um, that are around my city. Right now I'm only going to be adding two neighbors, so this is the first of the two. Um, but then um, as they share uh, resources with, uh, with other neighbors and then they hook up back to me, um, it just creates a more solid infrastructure across the region so that as we um, continue to share and I am the one selling all of the uh, the resources to all the neighbors um, that I don't end up losing the deals because the infrastructure isn't in place. So if the infrastructure fails then uh, unfortunately <laughs> the deals kind of go away and they're um, going to be critical um, in the future. So here I'm building out the second um, the second little neighbor and uh, this one could be a cute little beach town or something if I uh, if I had actually decided to play this particular uh, one, but I, I obviously I opted not to. So we're just gonna go and, and throw a bunch of stuff on here and uh, make them need <laughs> need uh, to buy our resources. And it always tells me, okay, your region's too big. <laughs> okay, fine. All right, so. Let's see here, so yep, there we go. I'm in my industrial, now come my, comes in my commercial. Oops, <laughs> and it's uh, telling me some warning there, but I, I'm kind of ignoring it because I honestly don't care. <laughs> I only care about my city and not the neighbor cities. <laughs> there we go, bunch of residences. And I think, yeah, I throw, throw a few more in there. There we go. And then we just need to add a few infrastructure pieces to make sure that we're hooked up to everything properly with, uh, with my city, uh, including a few roads. The roads are important so that they can um, use our trash dump. The, uh, and then, of course, uh, using the electri uh, electricity to um, sh to buy electricity off of us and then the water pipes to buy water off of us. So those are the three different types of deals. Is um, I could take their trash and then they can take our water and electricity um, you know, for a price. And uh, that's one of the reasons also why I build in a, a very large trash dump and I build it way on, uh, on the edge um, of the of the uh, of my zone so that it's far away from the city so the city doesn't get the, the NIMBY effect from it but at the same time is large enough so that it can take all the trash from um, the various neighbors and things and I actually have room for expansion on that as well so that um, as my city grows it needs more um, trash um, dump capabilities well the the neighbors will also require that and one of the things I will probably do um, throughout this um, this game is one I will eventually expand these two um, need cities um, and then I will also be adding additional neighbors to buy uh, resources from us as well it's just kind of one uh, one step at a time there's several other neighbors I can uh, I can hook up with and whoops <laughs> I realized after I got back in here, it's like I accidentally destroyed my power plant uh, when I did one of the connections <laughs> with the neighbor. Like, uh oh. <laughs> uh, so I'm like, all right. And then here I got, um, you know, relieve the rubbish cries of a neighbor. So uh, immediately one of the neighbors wants to buy um, 
the the privilege of uh, dumping their trash into um, our trash. So it's like, okay, I accept. Uh, more money, more good. <laughs> and here we go. It's like, okay, I gotta build a new power plant. And then I also lost my waste to um, power um, conversion plant as well. So I gotta build a new waste to energy plant. Boom, there it goes. And uh, there's uh, the neighbor's um, power supply. So I'm trying to figure out the best way to hook it up to my system so that they can start buying power from us. I'm just kind of connecting all that together. Making sure it's all completely connected. And you'll notice that there's a few uh, zots down in the industrial area here where I'm missing power. I'm like, I have no power. So I'm like, okay, what's going on there? So that's the next thing I need to kind of resolve. Um, but first I'm taking a look at the, uh, the ordinances and the money and just kind of making sure that I'm kind of maxing out everything and getting the, the max amount of income I can from the neighbors. So got that going. At the moment it's not a lot. Um, over time it will be more and it will eventually be um, enough again to sustain the city without using the cheats. Um, but uh, I will eventually need to start using some cheats um, to continue sustaining my growth. You can also see some pollution here on this part of the map over the industrial area, the trash um, and everything else. Uh, there's a ton of pollution and um, which is fine because that's why I moved this area away from where people live so that I can avoid the pollution um, in the area where people are living. So here I'm adding a little additional power, um, although it doesn't quite uh, seem to get rid of the power zots um, immediately, but it's also probably because I have uh, the game paused and so it just kind of takes a little time to, to get the juice going again. And then here you'll notice that I'm also now missing water. Um, so I've got to uh, go in and kind of fix um, that system. So it's like, oops, I have no water coming in here at all anymore. Um, so down here I've got a couple of water towers that are um, for the farm and for the beach but this water uh, thing over here is like producing no water whatsoever. I'm like okay what's going on here? So I've got to uh, kind of fix that I think. Yeah there we go. Um, it was basically it didn't have power and so it stopped pumping and uh, once the power started flowing again it started pumping but I still have a couple of dry areas so we're going to hit and now finally fixing that and adding the uh, sewer system that we need there but we still don't have quite enough uh, water coming up into the industrial area so um, I decided I needed uh, to add a couple of water um, water pumping stations up here go. One there. Alright, so now I've got those water pumps in here and you're going to start seeing me get a couple of uh, warnings here. Uh, this is the first one. Um, some green people are trying to shut down the water pumps, you know, cause too much water, con water cons conservation, etc. Yeah, whatever. And then I'm also going to get a warning about the budget, which is something I will be addressing with the next episode. Th thanks for watching, and until next time, bye bye